Hey, baby girls. How's everyone doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing super, super well today. So we have another Valentine's design. And this one is a little special because I will be using one of the acrylics that I'm going to be dropping tomorrow for Valentine's. Well, not Valentine's Day, but for the Valentine's Day collection, which is called I'm Sprung Valentine's Collection. Um, I, will, I was posting a lot about it on Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me over there. Please make sure to go follow me over there. I'm very, very, very active over there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, baby girls, um, I will be using one of the acrylics. And I'm not sure if by tomorrow or if today, later on, I'll be posting, um, like, the rest of the collection, showing you swatches and all that. Just so you guys can kind of get the picture of what the acrylics are going to look like, the colors it's going to come with and all that. So yeah, um, if I do have time, I'll post it today. If not, for sure tomorrow because it is dropping tomorrow, guys. So um, yeah, let's get started here with what we're kind of doing. So to begin with, the products that we're using, I am using a number 12 Kolinsky brush from my online store. Um, right now it's out of stock, but soon it'll be back in stock. A number 12 and a number 14 will be in stock. So if you guys are interested in a bigger brush that one it's a beautiful you guys and you guys can see here how i work with the number 12 and it works perfect um it does not lose its shape i love this brush you guys i freaking love it um but anyway um the monomer that i am using is the two guys monomer um i do have a coupon code with two guys so make sure to go and um, follow them on instagram and make sure to check out the description box below for the link to their online store as well as my coupon code i will have it there okay you guys because their products are super underrated and i think they they need a lot more recognition because their products are bomb.com um another thing i am using my crystal clear acrylic here for my pinky um, because since we're going to be doing a sugar effect later on, I didn't see the need to use. I probably should have used a red. But then it was going to make me not use a or do a sugar effect. You know what I mean? The whole purpose of it was a sugar effect. So I was like, you know what? If I do a red, it's it's going to make me add crystals or something else to it. And I don't want to do that. I really want a sugar effect here. So I went ahead and added a clear. And the clear that I am using is one that I will be soon having on my online store. I have been trying, trying it out. And I've been loving it. I really, really love it. Um, So soon it will be in the in my online store. The tips that I am using are also from my online store. Those are in stock, you guys. These are the 3XL square tips. They're super long, as you guys can see, but they're so pretty. And honestly, you don't even need to shape them. If you're going for a square shape, you don't even need to shape them. They're perfect as they are. You just cut the, you just cut them to desired length, um, glue them, and that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, baby girls, this is pretty much the products that we're using. And I decided to leave the acrylic application in real time since you guys have been loving me to do the acrylic application in real time. Um, showing you pretty much how I work. And you guys can see here that I am not working super fast. I apply the acrylic super slow. I'm being very, very not gentle with it, but very careful with it so that I can have a good application so that whenever I come and file there's not much filing to do since i hate filing that's i love to do nails you guys i freaking love to do nails this is my passion like every day i wake up with thinking about nails like what design am i gonna do today um you know waking up with inspos every day and i go to bed thinking about nails like designs you know what i mean for you guys um but the only thing that i don't like about nails is filing filing you guys i really hate filing nails and i really hate all that like dust particles everywhere i freaking hate it i really hate it um other than that i love nails but the filing process that's not for me so i try my best to do like a good acrylic application so that i don't have that much filing to do even though i don't know why i always end up filing a whole bunch um but i try not to <laughs> So yeah, baby girls, now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my index nail. 
and pretty much here i'm gonna go ahead and add just a tad bit of a crystal clear acrylic like a little drop of that or a little bit of that actually and start applying my little hearts these hearts are from honey fan you guys can find them on on her online store she does bomb work you guys you guys don't follow honey fan go and follow her her work is just amazing but yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and just adhere the little hearts using the crystal clear acrylic um for better adhesion you guys can totally totally use glue but honestly i don't like to do glue you know what i mean so i just go in with my handy dandy crystal clear acrylic <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and just adhere them here and there making sure that they're not too bulky you know what i mean making sure that you actually can see that it is a heart you know what i mean it's not just a blob of red encapsulated if that makes sense so i just make sure that you can actually tell their hearts and they look so cute <laughs> so after that um i just go in with a little plastic bag you guys can do any plastic bag i like to do these um because they're thicker these are the ones that your little nail tips come in and i just prefer these i just go ahead and wrap it around the nail hold it in place for maybe about 30 40 seconds um and after it's it, they stay in place you guys they they don't stick out like when you come and cap you know what i mean you know how sometimes they stick out and it's super hard for you to cap well that's not the case when you do this little trick you guys so yeah i went ahead and did that and then i removed the little plastic bag and now i'm gonna be using one and only and oh my god i love this um glitter acrylic you guys can use it as a nude um you guys can use it just as literally like throughout your nail you can use it throughout your nail as a regular acrylic um you know what i mean like as a colored acrylic um you guys can use it however you want to use it um for me i i think it looks super pretty with frenchies so um that's why i decided to incorporate it into the valentine's collection um so you guys can have like several um not just like your typical reds and pinks but it also comes with like a kind of like a little lilac nude and then it also comes with a nude with a pinky nude and then it also comes with this one um because i really wanted for you guys to have several options as to what to do can i ombre these two colors together can i do frenchies with with these these two colors together you know what i mean like several options for you guys to choose from um not only like i said your red and your pink um and your white let's say so that's why i really wanted to incorporate this one into the valentine's collection the i'm sprung valentine's collection i love that name you guys um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and add it here onto my indig no i'm sorry what what am i talking about <laughs> onto my middle nail and also my ring nail okay so i went ahead and did that um again if you work with this acrylic it has a whole bunch of glitter um so i would suggest you work with let's say you're working with a nude work with your nude first and then if you cap go ahead and cap it and then move on to the rest of your color over your or oh my god of your glitter acrylics because then that gets all over your monomer and then you come and cap and it gets onto your crystal clear acrylic because it's in your monomer and then it gets on your nude and it's not gonna look like a nude it's gonna look like a glittery nude okay so i really wanted to point that out <laughs> um which i kind of messed up here i should have capped um the heart nail first or the hearts nail first because um my monomer did have a lot of glitter after i was done with these two nails and actually i didn't get any of it on the glitter or or the heart nails i didn't get none of that glitter on there so i was pretty content about that and pretty surprised about that so another thing i wanted to mention about the valentine's day collection is that two of the acrylics are gonna come in a two ounce um container um this one is gonna be in a two ounce container and then the other one which is called date night which is like a pinky nude that one is gonna come in a two ounce container the rest of the seven acrylics i think yeah seven acrylics 
are gonna be in a one ounce um, container, like your regular one ounce container. Um, but yeah, so seven, one ounce, two, two ounces, you guys. Cause I really thought, like I mentioned, I really wanted like, like a nudie in there, like a glittery nude. Well, it's not really, what do you guys say? What do you guys call this? Is it a glittery nude? Is it a nude? What is it? To me, it's a glittery nude because it's like a pinky nude. Um, and another nude, you know what I mean? So I really wanted to do in, or add two, two ounces into the collection. I, initially, I was going to do one one ounce, um, just like the nude, the pinky nude. But then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do this one in a two ounce as well. So I went ahead and did that. And the collection is also going to be sold in as well as a collection and separately because i did a poll over on my instagram and pretty much it's like going um i think the collection has a few more votes than the individual so i think i'm just gonna sell them as a collection and individual because you guys prefer both you know what i mean some people um prefer one color and they just buy one color and some people just prefer to have the whole collection because you know sometimes you want to recreate something or maybe recreate a design that i'm using and you know you want the whole thing i don't know that's just that's just what i'm thinking <laughs> so yeah baby girls i'm gonna finish up doing this i'm gonna stop here and i'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of the process including the um capping process because honestly like oh my god it's monday and I have a lot of things to do and I don't have a lot of time for me to sit here and she's mirar con ustedes like I can't you guys I can't I'm sorry but yeah I'll be back in a couple of minutes
Okay, baby girls, I'm back. <laughs> and now we're gonna start with the actual filing process, which I hate, like I mentioned at the beginning. I don't like it. But anyway, I still have to do it. Of course, you want your nails looking bomb.com. So, of course, you gotta go and file. And to begin, I am using a 100 100 nail grid file, which are from two guys. These files, you guys, are really, really good. Really, really good. Again, I do have a coupon code with two guys, so don't forget to check that out. It'll be in the description box below. And yeah, so then, of course, I'm gonna be moving on to my e file. And the drill bit that I'm using is one from Melody Susie. I do have a link in the description box below. So don't forget to, to uh, oh my god, don't forget to check that out as well. <laughs> you guys, it's a freaking Monday and the kids went back to school today and I'm worn out, you guys. I'm literally worn out. I've been up and down all morning. But yeah, I'm here right now and let's make the best of it. <laughs> so Again, I am using a Melody Susie drill bit. This is a medium grit. And um, I do have it linked in the description box below. And I also do have a coupon code with Melody Susie. So it'll be there. Don't forget to check out the description box below. Um, so then uh, I do have it at about 12 to 13 RPMs. No higher than that. There's, to me, I don't think it's needed. It works perfect like this. So um, I will be going around the cuticle area just to seal the cuticle area and make sure we have zero lifting. Sometimes if you have lifting and, and you did all the previous steps perfect, you know, as perfect as you could, um, sometimes it could be that you're still leaving acrylic on top of the skin, okay? So make sure that you seal the, in the cuticle area um, using your drill bits and then I do like to take it from like side to side all the way down to debulk the nails and it's been a super hard for me because i've been wearing long nails so then i am gonna go ahead and take it like up and down so that it's easier for me and it's easier to debulk okay <laughs> so then um i also like to take it along the side walls just to further shape um this really helps me maintain a super crisp shape so if you guys haven't tried that that's another little trick if you guys aren't having like a crisp shape onto whatever shape that you're using Make sure you do or you file down um, just a little bit your sidewalls with your e-file. That really helps out a lot, you guys. So I like to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing all throughout my nails. Now I'm going to be going back in with my 100-100 nail grit file from two guys and I'm going to further shape the nails, um, just remove any little grooves that might have been left uh, like underneath the, the actual tip because since I do like to shape with the e-file sometimes it leaves like little grooves down there and I don't like how that looks. I like my nails to look completely completely super straight from side top wherever it is bottom wherever it is you guys i like it to look super crisp everywhere so then i do like to take it um like underneath there for the shape i also do or actually i also take my 150 150 nail grip file i do find these at amazon so i'm not using the ones from nail supply glamour no more i finished those completely i have zero um but i did find these on amazon and they worked they work just as good so I'm, I'm using these to like further buff the surface of the nail i really like to take this step i mentioned on my previous nail on my previous video i'm sorry that before i was actually using a little um what's it called a little sanding band oh my god brain fart i was using a little 
um sanding band to do this step but i was like you know what i'm just wasting sanding bands well i could use it like on my sister's nails and things like that to prep their natural nails for acrylic application so i was like i'm not even gonna like bother to use that anymore even though it does like it's faster um i'll probably do that this step i'll probably do it on my sister or on my mom um using the sanding band but on myself i'm just gonna keep on doing the hand file um because i'm not planning to waste you know my little sanding bands like for what you know what i mean <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and take my 150 150 nail grip file like i mentioned and just buff well not buff but it helps me remove like any harsh lines or anything that the e-file might have left behind on the surface of the nail i also like to take it on the free edge or whatever that's laying around or whatever that's on my hand i like to take um that file and just do the or shape the free edge of each and every one of the nails And of course, last but not least, I will be taking my buffer. These are the buffers that I use. It's your usual black and orange buffers. I do find them on Amazon as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just buff the whole surface. I will tell you right now, you shouldn't be leaving a super, super, super smooth surface to the nails. Because if you're going to go in with gel polish or even your top coat, it's going to start to like peel off or things like that because the surface is too smooth the gel needs something to like something that has grip to hold on to so make sure that you don't leave your nails a super smooth or there or that you're not using a super smooth buffer i think these are perfect that's why these are the ones that i use and these are the ones that i think i will always be using so then after that i just went ahead and cleansed the nails and it just wiped them off with a little bit of alcohol and a lint free wipe and that's what the nails look like freshly filed and freshly cleansed so then after that i'm gonna go ahead and take this valentino um 071 and gel polish and this one i used it on the brand new nails that i'm using today i posted an instagram reel over there on my instagram of course um because i switched up you you see how i have the golden nails here well i switched it up and did red frenchies for valentine's these are not gonna be like my like my whole month valentine's nail i'm planning to do something with pink and red hopefully so i'll be removing these completely um maybe in two to three weeks maybe maybe two if si no me aburro because usually like me aburro so um <laughs> um yeah these are not gonna be permanent of course um I want something like with encapsulated hearts. I want something with pink and red, your usual. I just love pink and red, you guys. I freaking love pink and red. I think it looks so, so pretty together, especially in Valentine's. I love it. So yeah, I went ahead and used this gel polish to do some Frenchies or a one French actually here on the middle nail. Can you guys peep our new liner brushes? Can you guys peep? the new product that's coming up oh my god i am so excited you guys we will be having liner brushes available on my online store um whenever i do restock my acrylic brushes or my kalinsky brushes these will be up there as well so i'm super 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 excited this is a 15 mm no i think this was this one was the 20 mm these are for longer frenchies um i will be having the 15 mm available also of the 20 mm for longer um nails so yeah i'm super super excited about that anyway <laughs> going back to the design i went ahead and added my matte top coat which is available on my online store um on the index nail i went ahead and matted these nail well that nail out and then using that same gel polish i went ahead and did these two straight lines or kind of like slanted i would say um, they're not really straight, um, so I went ahead and did, did uh, these two little lines here on the sides of the nail um, using th that same gel polish. And we're going to be adding glitter on top of that, like a sugar effect. Well, it's not like it's a sugar effect. <laughs> so we're going to be adding it on top of that. 
and this is a red um, glitter for that sugar effect so then I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that on top while it's still wet make sure that your whatever gel you're using for this it's still wet um, and then sprinkle your glitter on top of that and then you go ahead and cure under the lamp for about 60 seconds making sure it fully 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 cures so then here on the pinky as i had mentioned to you guys at the beginning we're going to be doing a full-on sugar effect nail so then i'm going to be using my base coat from bellavina and i'm going to go ahead and apply just a thin coat on top of that nail uh, and then sprinkle my glitter on top making sure again that it is still wet and you do not cure it um, if you cure it by accident, go ahead and add another coat on top of that, but do not cure it. And then sprinkle your glitter on top, whatever glitter you're using. And then go ahead and just make sure that you cure for one minute under the lamp so it fully, fully cures. So now moving on to my ring nail. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do here. I mentioned to you guys on my previous video that I had zero, zero, zero inspo for Valentine's. I don't know what's going on with me, you guys, but I have zero inspo for Valentine's. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with these nails. Like, I wasn't sure where I was going. Um, I kind of had something in mind, but then I wasn't really sure what I was going to do onto the ring finger. So then I went ahead and added um, or glued, no, added a little teddy bear here um, on top of the nail using a little bit of crystal clear acrylic. For better adhesion you guys can do that with bigger charms um instead of using your resin or i don't like to use like cluster gel or anything like that i i don't like to use none of that so for bigger rhinestones i prefer to use crystal clear acrylic it adheres them super good you guys and they will not budge i promise you they will not budge so then um after that i went ahead and added some little hearts um like little heart um crystals and some little number sevens ab rhinestones around it and i thought it looked pretty cute after that now i'm gonna go ahead and add my top coat and now i'm gonna be adding my shiny top coat and this is the diamond top coat which is available on my online store as well it's from bomb nails um so making sure that i'm going around the crystals just so that i don't dull their shine i'm gonna go ahead and top coat everything and then i'm gonna go ahead and place that underneath the lamp for about a minute after it comes out of the lamp please make sure you add your cuticle oil the cuticle oil that i did went ahead and use is from two guys i do have a coupon code with two guys again so make sure you check that out in the description box below um you don't want your cuticles looking all crusty so make sure you use your cuticle oil i couldn't find mine from my website um i don't know where i left it i think it's in my purse because last time we went out the door and my nails, my cuticles were looking super crusty and I hate that. I really, really hate that. So I think it's in my purse. But anyway, I went ahead and used the one from Two Guys, which is as good, I promise. And this is the end result, baby girls. I really, 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 really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I really liked how they came out, even though, again, I had zero inspo. I had nothing in mind. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know what I wanted. Um, even though I've been like searching up and down everywhere for like no inspo, something that can inspire me to do something like that. Um, or just give me like an idea of what I want. And literally, you guys, I don't know what's going on with me. I really don't know what's going on with me. I have zero inspo. <laughs> so then, um, yeah this is what i came up with and i really hope you guys enjoyed it i really hope you guys liked it so i'll see you on the next video hopefully probably tomorrow you guys to be extra sure probably tomorrow with my valentine's day collection so yeah baby girls i will see you on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye